Now, your WCBX Pinpoint Weather with Chief Meteorologist Jordan Dressman. Rain moved through the Tennessee Valley early this morning. We got a little bit of a break, then some showers and thunderstorms moved through the Tennessee Valley during the later part of the afternoon, early into the evening. Some of those were strong or severe, but Pinpoint Viper looking much improved this evening. Still maybe talking about a couple of light showers across northeast Alabama, but honestly, that's about it. And this is going to be it for the remainder of the evening as we head into the overnight. Hail was a really big thing that we saw a lot of over the course of the afternoon. I got this really fantastic photo of the hail piled up on top of Green Mountain. Thanks so much to Ann for sending me this photo. Just look at that large pile of all of that hail. Again, this came from uh, the top of Green Mountain and texted this photo and you can do the same. The numbers right there on your screen, 256-382-2692. Of course, when the severe weather was all said and done, got to enjoy a couple of different rainbows across the Tennessee Valley. Thanks so much to Trenton over in Hillsboro for sending this fantastic shot of not one rainbow, but you can see another rainbow there just above uh, the initial one. Also texted me this weather photo. And again, you can do the same, 256-382-2692. Let's look at rainfall totals over the last 24 hours. Many of us have seen at least an inch. Locally, we've been talking about an inch and a half, an inch and three quarters. Says we've seen six tenths of an inch at Huntsville International Airport. I think we can go ahead and bump that number up just a little bit. These are radar estimates, so they're not exactly 100% accurate. As far as the rain we've seen so far in the month of April, 2.77 inches over at Huntsville International Airport. And to be quite honest, we need a lot more as far as an average April is concerned. Normally, we would get right around 4.32 inches and I don't really have a lot of rain in the forecast to be quite honest it doesn't look like we're going to get to 4.32 inches before May arrives and don't forget May arrives a week from today no rain Sunday Monday Tuesday and Wednesday isolated opportunities through Thursday and Friday of next week but those opportunities aren't going to bring us the most widespread precipitation in the world mostly cloudy as we head into the overnight you are going to notice the clouds beginning to break up just a little bit temperatures hanging out in the upper 40s and lower 50s I've got a low right around 50 degrees that's where we'll be through a good majority of the morning. 50 by 7, 52 by 8, 54 degrees by 9 o'clock. From there, it does look like we continue to warm up. We'll finish the day in the upper 60s, lower 70s. I've got a high right around 70 degrees. Heading down to Talladega tomorrow, it's going to be an absolutely beautiful day. 71 at 1 o'clock. Race starts at 1 o'clock, by the way. 73 by 4 p.m. 68 by the time they get to the middle part of the evening. Then we get to Monday and look at the warmer air I've got for you across the Tennessee Valley. Monday afternoon highs, upper 70s and lower 80s. And that's not the only day we're going to be talking about temperatures in the upper 70s and lower 80s. As a matter of fact, I've got 83 for your Tuesday, 81 both Wednesday and Thursday. Now it does look like a cold front's going to move through the Tennessee Valley by the time we get to Friday and Saturday of next week. Still a lot of questions associated with that cold front, so expect the seven day forecast to be somewhat fluid by the time we get to the later part of next week, Kelly.